Hi, library friends. I'm Ms. Connie from the Hopewell Branch, and welcome to another episode of our author study program. Today, we are going to be looking at children's author, Dory Hillestat Butler. And we're gonna look at her works, and we're gonna listen to her read a story, and we're also gonna look at her website. But first, I'd like to tell you a few things about her. Um, she has always been a reader, and she's always wanted to be a writer, and she grew up in Southern Minnesota. Uh, when she went to school, she liked school. She was quiet and shy and a good student, and she was involved in band and the school newspaper. She also worked in the library when she was in high school, and she went to college, and when she graduated college, she became a writer. And since that time, she's written over 50 children's books, both fiction and nonfiction, and she also writes for magazines such as Cricket and Spider. And now she lives in the state of Washington. And we're going to listen to her read from her King and Kayla series. And then when she's done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at some of her other books and we're gonna look at her website. Hi, I'm Dory Hillestead Butler. This is my office mate, Mouse. I am the author of a series of books called King and Kayla. It's about a dog named King who works with his girl Kayla to solve mysteries. And my dog Mouse is the inspiration behind my books. I'm going to read the first book to you today. It's called King and Kayla in the case of the missing dog treats. Written by me and illustrated by Nancy Myers. And you take a look at that opening picture. Does that give you an idea of what the book might be about? What do you think King is thinking about there? And if we turn to the table of contents, we can see there are five chapters in the book. Let's start with chapter one, which is called Making Peanut Butter Treats. Hello. My name is King. I'm a dog. This is Kayla. She is my human. Kayla and I are making peanut butter treats. I love peanut butter treats. They're my favorite food. Sorry, King, Kayla says. These treats aren't for you. My tail droops. They're for my friend Jillian, Kayla says. She just got a new puppy. Kayla stirs the flour, oatmeal, and baking powder. She adds milk, eggs, and peanut butter. Then she rolls out the dough. It smells so, so good. I wait for her to give me some of that dough. I wait and wait and wait. I can't wait anymore. I say, Kayla, please give me some of that dough. She looks at me. Do you want to go outside, King? She asks. No, I say. I want some dough. I'll take you outside in a little bit, Kayla says. She presses a cookie cutter into the dough. She lays pieces of dough on a cookie sheet. Then she puts the cookie sheet in the oven. May I lick the bowl? I ask. I know you want to lick the bowl, Kayla says, but you can't. Raw dough isn't good for dogs. She puts the bowl in the sink. My tail droops even lower. Ding! Kayla takes the treats out of the oven. She sets them on a wire rack to cool. Now we can go outside and play, Kayla says. And that's the end of chapter one. Chapter two is called Intruder. Kayla throws the ball. Go fetch, King, she says. Oh boy, I love to fetch. It's my favorite thing. I run, run, run after the ball. I bring the ball to Kayla. She throws it again. Hi, Kayla. Hi, King, calls a voice from the back porch. It's Kayla's friend, Jillian. Hi, Jillian, I call back. Jillian is not alone. This is Thor, she says. 
Hello, 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 Thor says. Thor has a lot of energy. We run, we roll in the grass. Thor nips at my ears. Please don't eat my ears, I say. But Thor is just a baby. He giggles and nips at my ears again and again and again. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to be the big dog. I need a drink of water, I tell Kayla. I also need a break from Thor. I run up the back stairs and into the house. Sniff, sniff. I smell an intruder. I don't see him, but I smell him. He stinks. I hear Kayla, Jillian, and Thor clomping up the steps. There's an intruder in the house, I tell Kayla. She and Jillian walk right past me. They go over to the treats. King, Kayla cries out. There are three treats missing. Did you take them? No, I say. But I don't think Kayla believes me. She looks at me like I'm a bad dog. I don't like it when Kayla thinks I'm a bad dog. And that's the end of chapter two. Chapter three is called, How to Solve a Case. I didn't take the treats, I tell Kayla. I look at Thor. He and Jillian came through the kitchen on their way to the backyard. Maybe Thor took them. I want my treats, I want my treats, Thor cries. He leaps at the counter, but he's too short to reach the treats. So I don't think he took them. Sniff, sniff. I still smell that intruder. Maybe the intruder took the treats. Sit, King, Kayla says. I don't want to sit. Let's find the intruder, I tell Kayla. Kayla doesn't understand. King, she says, I told you to sit. She makes mad eyes at me. I don't like it when Kayla makes mad eyes at me. I sit. I didn't take the treats, I say again. Kayla sniffs my face. She opens my mouth and looks inside. Thor looks too. I don't think King took the treats, Kayla says. I wag my tail. How do you know, asks Jillian. His breath doesn't smell like peanut butter, Kayla says. Kayla is a good detective. If he didn't take them, who did? Jillian asks. We'll find out, Kayla says. She grabs a notebook and pencil. Let's make a list of everything we know about this case, she says. Number one, there are three treats missing. Number two, King was in the kitchen. Number three, King's breath doesn't smell like peanut butter. If I could write, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we know. There's an intruder in the house. Now let's make a list of everything we don't know about this case, Kayla says. Number one, was anyone else in the kitchen? Number two, who else likes peanut butter treats? Number three, who else could have taken the treats? If I could write, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we don't know. Who is the intruder? Where is the intruder? Did the intruder take the treats? Now we need a plan, Kayla says. I have a plan. Find the intruder. And that's the end of chapter three. Chapter four is called Clues. Follow me, I tell Kayla, Jillian, and Thor. I put my nose to the ground. Sniff, sniff. Are you looking for clues, King? Kayla asks. Yes, I say. I follow the intruder's scent from the back door to the counter. Hey, what's this, I ask. It's a bit of toast. I love toast. It's my favorite food. 
I gobble up the toast. Then I follow the intruder's scent from the counter to the hallway. Hey, what's this, I ask. It's a bit of peanut butter treat. I love peanut butter treats. They're my favorite food. I gobble up the... Oh, no. That bit of peanut butter treat was a clue. You shouldn't eat clues. I follow the intruder's scent from the hallway to the living room. Kayla's mom, Jillian's mom, and Jillian's little brother are there. They are not intruders. Kayla tells her mom about the missing treats. Hmm, her mom says. She looks at me. King didn't take them, Kayla says. His breath doesn't smell like peanut butter. Did you see anyone go into the kitchen? Do you know who could have taken the treats? The moms shake their heads. Come back here, Adam, Jillian's mom says. She picks up Jillian's little brother. Wah, Adam cries. Maybe Adam took the treats. Hey, what's this, I ask. It's a hair, a gray hair. In fact, I count one, four, two, eight, six gray hairs. No one here has gray hair. I follow the hairs to the couch. I peer under it. Two yellow eyes peer back at me. And that's the end of chapter four. One more chapter to go. Chapter five is called Case Closed. Intruder, intruder, I bark. The intruder is eating Thor's treats under our couch. I need to chase him away. I need to rescue the treats, but I don't fit under the couch. Ha ha, the intruder laughs at me. What's the matter, King? Kayla asks. She and Jillian look under the couch. It's a cat, Jillian says. Where did he come from? He must have come in when the back door was open, Kayla says. I paw at that cat, but I can't reach him. Ha ha, the cat laughs at me again. I need help, and I know who can help me. Who do you think is gonna help King? Thor! He is small enough to fit under the couch. The cat lets out an angry yowl and zooms out into the living room. Thor and I chase him through the kitchen and out the back door. Kayla closes the door behind him. You were right, Kayla, Jillian says. King didn't steal the treats, that cat did. Bad cat, I say. Good boy, King, Kayla says. You solved the case of the missing treats. You are the king of crime solving. And you are the queen, I say. Jillian gives Thor a peanut butter treat. Kayla gets me a piece of cheese. Oh boy, I love cheese. It's my favorite food. And that's the end. If you like that book, there are five more books in the series that you can check out. There's King and Kayla and the Case of the Secret Code. There's King and Kayla and the Case of the Mysterious Mouse. Hmm, where do you think I got the idea to write that book? There's King and Kayla and the Case of the Lost Tooth. There's King and Kayla and the Case of Found Fred. And the brand new one that just came out this year is King and Kayla and the Case of the Unhappy Neighbor. What do you think that unhappy neighbor is so unhappy about? You'll have to read the book to find out. Thanks for letting me read to you today. Bye. I really enjoyed listening to Dory Hillestat Butler read the King and Kayla book. And I just wanted to show you some of her other books. Uh, not all of them, since, I, as I mentioned before, she's got more than 50, but I wanted to show you a few. Um, this is just another one in the King and Kayla series, and I love the illustrations in the book. 
If you are a reader who is graduating from picture books to chapter books, this is a great series to start with. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the inside and explain why. Look, it has lots of words and great pictures. Um, and almost every page is like that with a mix of words and pictures. So it's a chapter book, but it is also, also um, a good transition from picture books. So I would highly recommend that series if that describes how you are reading right now. Uh, she has some other series that are also easy chapter books, but have are maybe the next level. So this is a series called The Buddy Files, and this is the case of the lost boy. I'm just gonna tell you what this one is about. While searching for his mysteriously lost human family, Buddy the dog is adopted by another family and helps solve the mystery of their missing boy. So this book is written from Buddy's perspective and it's very cute. There are illustrations in the book, but not as many as in the King and Kayla series. Um, so I wanted to show you what some of the pages look like. And um, show you an illustration, even something like that. So there definitely are illustrations in there um, but just not as many as with King and Kayla. This is another book in the series, The Case of the Fire Alarm. Okay. And in that series, I think there are about seven books. And then she also has The Haunted Library, and this is a really cute series. I'm going to put that close to the screen and tell you the summary. Um, when Ghost Boy Kaz's haunt is torn down and he is separated from his ghost family, he meets a real girl named Claire who lives above the town library with her parents and her grandmother. Claire has a special ability to see ghosts when other humans cannot, and she and Kaz quickly form a friendship. So there are about 10 books in this series, and uh, this is another one, The Ghosts in the Attic. And this is really cute. This is Claire and this is Kaz. And again, there are illustrations in the book. Let's see. Claire with her grandmother, um, but not as many as King and Kayla. Here, another cute page. Okay, so that's a really fun series as well. Um, this is an early, early chapter book called Dear Beast. Through a series of letters, Simon, a grumpy and jealous cat, informs Baxter his boy's new dog that he is not welcome and should leave at once. That's just a photocopy of the cover. And then the author's written a lot of picture books, both fiction and nonfiction. So I just have an example of one of those here. This is called My Grandpa Had a Stroke. And so a stroke is an illness and it talks about um, how their relationship changes when the grandpa has an illness and how, um, how they make that transition. So the author wrote this book because her own father had suffered a stroke and she wanted to find a book to read with her children, but couldn't find what she was looking for. So she wrote the book herself. So it's a good book to um, share with someone who might be in a similar situation or have perhaps um, a sick grandparent. So it has really nice illustrations and it's a picture book. So those are just a few uh, examples of her many, many books. And I would highly recommend that you um, take them out and read them. So before we go, I just wanted to show you Dory Hillestat Butler's website. And you can find it with your grown up at www.kidswriter.com. And she has a great website. Um, this is where I got a lot of the information about her life. Uh, you can see there's a picture of her here with her dog, Mouse. And there are other pictures here from when she was a child and they're really fun. Uh, I wanted to mention that 
she on this website you can also find information about her author visits and she is on a quest to visit all 50 states and do school visits. So I'm just gonna read you from the website here. It says, I'm on a quest to visit a school in all 50 states. I love to travel, I love school visits, and I love to meet people. Find out more here. So there's a spot you can click and learn more about that. Um, I think that's a fun goal. Uh, there's a spot here for all her books so you can click on that and that would show you all the books she's written and then the last option is downloadables and I always think it's so fun when an author provides extra activities related to their books for their readers um, I think it makes it very special and fun for the reader so I just wanted to show you some of the things you can find there I actually printed them so they would be easier to see so there are coloring pages from the Buddy files. We have Buddy. Um, this is another page, all printable from her website. This is a third page from the Buddy files with the bus. There are activities like mazes. This is from the Haunted Library. There's Kaz. And another one from the Haunted Library, a word search. I love those fun activities. And then from King and Kayla, we have a decoder. So lots of fun things to do there. So I would highly recommend you have your adult take you there. Um, before we finish, I just wanted to mention first, a big thank you to Dory Hillestat Butler. She um, provided this video especially for our library. And we really appreciate that and the chance to meet her dog. And this is her website. If you would like to go there with your adult, it's www.kidswriter.com. And our website is mcl.org. And if you haven't watched the other author study videos, you can go there and we have a specific playlist on our YouTube channel. And we will again have more um, author study episodes coming up this fall. So keep your eye out for those. Bye.